I was reading an article yesterday, and I saw that in a research in that article that Nigeria was ranking number one out of 12 countries that the citizens are relocating out of their country. I don't know if you get the point. Like, Nigeria is ranking number one out of 12 countries that the citizen wants to jack back. They want to run. <laughs> this is not a surprising news because everybody know um, what jackpa, the jackpa term is all about. Like, it's a syndrome that like, everybody is leaving the country. And this is because of the insecurity in the country. A lot of things are going on. Prices are not longer the same the way it used to be. Um, a lot of things are happening. Insecurity is like number one. You are not even safe in your own country because of the hardship. Um, inflation is doubling the, 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 the like companies are relocating and because of these companies are relocating the prices are changing so since all this is happening jackpa 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 let me educate you 10 things you must do before you finally jackpa before you jackpa from Nigeria before you relocate even if you're um, in South Africa, in any country that you are, before you relocate, 10 things you must do before you relocate. Don't um, stop watching this video. Watch this video to the end. Every point is going to surprise you. So try and watch the video to the end. Let me introduce myself. My name is Samson Pius and I am a YouTuber. I create content on relocation. Sometimes I share opportunity like this so if you're just seeing my face you're welcome i encourage you to subscribe because things like this are what i do share this video subscribe and let's go straight to business trust me this is going to be very educative let's go So the first point I'll be making here, after you've probably known the country you want to go, you figured out the country and decided that this is the country I want to go, you need to know the routes, um, which route you want to use to go to that country. There are basically five routes a lot of people use to relocate outside their own country, probably Nigeria. Yeah, it's not like it's this five route. There are more, but um, most of them are this five route. So the first one is asylum, when you seek asylum. So asylum is more like um, you reject your own country, that your country is not treating you well, something like that. And uh, probably they're fighting war, or some things are happening in your country. And at that point, they give you asylum, they change your visa. They change your passports. You turn down your country and you are no longer a citizen of your country and you can never go to your country again. So that is when uh, this is a, a route some people use to seek asylum. Yeah. So second one is through education. You know education, you get admission in school. From school, you get a job from there. So that is another route through study, which is more like the most popular one. The third one is... Um, 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 work. Some people go through work, they get employment, they get job and straight. Some of them can be sponsored, some of them can be um, a lot of things. Some go through conference. They go for conference from there, they, they find their way and stuff like that. Some go through permanent resident. They register and they are, and they are lucky. Permanent resident from, you, uh, from where you are, you just register and you just might be lucky. And some go through marriage. Yeah, there is a lot of them. There are even more than five. There are like there are more. It's just that this is the basic one. A lot of people use more. So um, you need to know the route you want to go. Then, if you've known known the route you want to use, okay. Before I proceed, like um, it's not a must. You must focus on one route. Some people can do two routes at the same time. Through studies, through school, um, through studies and through work, you read you you keep pursuing it at the same time. So. Anyone that works out for you is fine. Conference, you can do anyone, but just first of all, know the route you want to use to relocate outside Nigeria. But that's not like my first point. I'm just saying that um, these are the, like what you should know before you now, um, if I will not say my first point, you understand? Once you've gathered, like you know the route you want to use, probably you've gotten the, 
the the visa or stuff like that or you probably you've not even gotten it you need number one you need to know the requirements the document requirements to do that your visa a lot of people have lost a lot of money from this because um, they don't know the requirements a lot of money they don't know the requirement they depend on someone to feed them this information and they collect money from them consultation agents and so many things so if you are watching this video you need to take your time to go on google make your research and know the document required for that um, country you are traveling to yes and a lot of people have even lost um, been denied visa because of this so always try to read check if it's study you know you need your admission letter your statement of result your stuff well, you, like just know every country has what they request for so you need to know this so second one is you need to know how to organize your documents it is very 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 important it is simple but a lot of people have been denied visa because of this because of improper way of organizing documents it can it can be a problem when you don't have a particular document that was actually stated so this might be your problem, this might be the problem from your agency, your, your agent that is working this stuff for you. And one thing again before I forget, your photocopy, it is so important because you don't know how to organize your documents, you just put in, um, put in original where you are meant to put photocopy and when you put the original, they take the original, they don't care or the embassy would collect it. And the main time you or probably the, the time you 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 want to use the the the, the original you are presenting photocopy and you are asked where is the original you don't know what to do like oh i gave it to the embassy and it might cause a very big problem i don't know how intense the problem might be but it can probably keep you stranded so you need to know how to um, organize your document it is very very important and i encourage you to do it yourself your google your chat everything is there you go to the list you follow it a photocopy put photocopy where it's needed when they request for original you show them original you keep your original back that was how somebody went to put original um or the original police certificate they've stamped with this ministry of affairs you get they've stamped it and, and signed on it and he didn't know he went to put it in the in the original and that's how the original left he does not have the original anymore so this is something you need to put under consideration that is why you need to watch this video to the end because it's, it's very very educative so the third point i'm trying to make here is research your destination where you are going to know how to say hi know how to know the, the 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 food they have there know their culture know how to to greet it is very important though because um you might think it's ah, when you go there you you figure it out you might put yourself in trouble when you don't um, communicate when you try to communicate and and it is something that is offensive to them and they might not tell you because these white people won't tell you but they'll, they'll be angry with you and they'll keep it in their mind you can even lose a job because of this yes there was a time i there was a time my teacher took everyone in the class to go eat and i was eating i was eating we we're all eating together and because of i don't know how all these things have been done um instead of me to like no i don't like i don't i don't i don't like it i this one no 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 this one i was like no this one tastes bad ah, i don't know ah, no i can never eat the dick i was just like expressing myself normally like a nigerian like no 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 i i after tasting like no 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 this one is too bad i don't like the taste so it's offensive because um someone is actually getting you a food for free and he's expecting you to like um to try it like you're you're more like you're 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 trying something new it's obvious we understand but you don't have to like say it's bad you understand so it might not look offensive to you because you're from nigeria or you're from that your country and it looks fine but it was offensive to them and they did not tell me thank god for my very close friend that was like my very very close friend when we went home i was like 
everyone was not happy with what you were saying. So um, I needed to learn at that point. So you needed, you need to know what um, offensive in that particular country you're going to. Some countries, when you point finger, it is offensive. When you point someone finger, they see it's very offensive. Some countries have their own. So you need to know this so that when you go, you don't, um, um, you don't lose favor. You understand? It's not like you're going to be arrested or it's not like you, you're, you're going to be penalized or anything. But there's some certain favor that you might lose because of you don't know what to do or you don't know how to do it or you went to do something that looks normal. You went to do something that looks normal to you, where you're from, but here is not like that. Okay, one more example. Um, maybe um, we definitely in Nigeria we don't support LGBTQ because based on our religion and our culture and we feel like um, that is how it is in the whole world. And you come here and you see probably someone dresses like um, a boy who is a girl or a girl dresses like a, um, a boy dresses like a girl. You understand? And you're like, why will you do this? You start talking like that. They don't talk anyhow here. They don't talk anyhow here. Yes. So someone recently was suspended because of he was um, gay shaming someone. So he was suspended. I think um, not even suspended. He was expelled. That's how they take it seriously here. So you're from Nigeria. We definitely know we have our culture and values. You understand? But um, well, probably when you come to outside Nigeria, um, like abroad, and you carry that culture and value, and like you didn't learn about how all these things work, you come here and like started um, um, talking. You see, probably you see a gay that is proudly a gay, and like, why will you be a gay? It's wrong, it's bad. Like, you put yourself in trouble. They might not tell you, that's just it, they might not tell you, but it's it's offensive so leave them you're in another man's land don't um don't try to to um, sorry to say don't try to want to preach to them yes it can be offensive it might cost you your job it can cost you what you came here they might send you back to nigeria learn about the country another one happened again a lady that was in a job that was always discussing her family problem at work. This is something we do where in Nigeria, where we can now share like, ah, my husband this, my this, my children, you understand? But she lost her job because of this thing. So these are uh, cultural shock that when you come here, um, it will shock you, you understand? So you might be, feel comfortable doing them in Nigeria, and when you come here, it's a whole different thing. So it is advisable that you learn about this please learn about the culture where you're going to it's going to help you to know what to do when you get to that country let's go to the next point learn a skill the next point is learn a skill don't go empty learn a skill i know what i'm saying learn a skill because those things that are being done in nigeria like probably barbing um um fashion designing, sewing senators and stuff. It actually costs a lot abroad. Cooking, Nigerian foods, you get. So you need to learn a skill driving. If you come here empty, you will find it very, very difficult. Yes. I recommend you learn a skill at least, um, if it, even if it's driving. Even if it's uh, babbin, learn it. Babbin is very expensive. Look at my hair. I know how much I, I like. Sometimes I don't get money to even shave them. You understand? It's a lot. It's a whole lot. Normally in Nigeria, we can bab hair two, time, um, two times in a month, three times in a month. Um, it's not like that here. You spend a fortune here. You get babbin hair. You bab hair once in two months or once in one month and two weeks. You understand? So you need to know this before leaving. So you don't make mistake. If you know you're going to move, move in next year, start learning the skill now. Very, very important. So this point, I don't know the number I am now, but this point looks like um, something that a lot of people joke with or 
they don't they don't they don't even think of it they don't even have a thought of it before they they start doing their processes of it, uh, of their visa and everything probably they will say when they get to that stage they will cross it but it's very important you need to consider this know somebody where you are going to know somebody where you are going to it is very important you know a person that lives in that country you're going to. Why do you need to know somebody in that country? Because you're, someone needs to pick you up from the airport. For instance, you're trying to do it on your own. You might, you might, you might be extorted, yes, because they will charge you all those airport people. They'll, 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 they'll charge you a lot of money. That's one. Um, you have to start looking for hotel. And before you have to now look, start looking for your place and stuff like that, it can take a week, two, three, four, five days, and you need someone that would be there, that would accept you first. If not, it would be very, very difficult. When I mean very difficult, it would be very difficult. You need to know somebody there. If you don't know anybody in that country you're going to, not like it's not going to be possible, but the, it's going to stress you. You need someone that's going to help you navigate. That's one. You need someone that will help you pick you up from the airport. That's two. You need someone that would that would that would harbor you for a few days for you to get your own place. That's very important because you you pay for hotel. Hotel is expensive abroad and it's not narrow. And you know the value of them depending on the country you are going to. You spend a fortune a fortune. Um, paying bills in the hotel. Another thing again is health care. Health care. Um, so people don't put it in mind that their health is their wealth. They are going to another country. You don't know how their health system works. It's not like Nigeria where you can just walk and go to the pharmacy and buy drugs, prastamol, without doctor's prescription. You can just go and just buy antibiotics without anything. I don't know if you get. So you need to know all this. You need to know how their health system works. Some of them works with insurance. That is to say, you have to be aware that you need to register for insurance for your health. And you will not go there and start doing a lot of road that, ah, I don't get sick. I don't get sick. So what will happen? It is very expensive because if you finally get sick, you will spend spend a lot of money, a lot of money just for your health. So it's better to know how it works. If it's a country that you can actually buy drugs without doctor's prescription, fine. If it's a country that you can't buy drugs without doctor's prescription, you need to have an insurance so that you can be able to assess a doctor that would give you, uh, probably get you drugs, uh, the hospital gets you drugs and everything. You understand? At least I forget in the other point I mentioned about um, having someone to in that country. Having someone in the country you're going to will also help you um, save you a lot of stress because sometimes the country you're going to, language barrier is a problem. And you don't know how to navigate the language barrier. So that person you're going to meet too will help you since he has been there for years. He's going to help you do all those stuff. and. Based on, based on your living in Nigeria for the first time and you don't know how um, this language barrier can actually be a very huge problem. Yes, so that is the need why you have, need to have someone before um, you make that travel. You understand? And not necessarily you need to know someone directly. You, you can know someone that knows somebody. In fact, you can know someone that knows somebody that knows somebody and you can have the contact. It's as simple as that. That's how life works. You don't have to know the person directly. Just know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody and they will help you. So let's um, get to the next point. Okay, before I get to the next point, I want to say subscribe to my channel if this information is very educative. Like, it's not easy coming up with all this and like making this research. This video is not as easy as you think. We have to do research. Um, edit this video, upload it, a lot of time, like it takes a lot of work and effort to do this. So appreciate us by sharing this video, subscribing and liking this video. Comment if it was very helpful, I really appreciate. Yeah, so let's get, um, let's continue with the video. Another point is save a lot of money. You need a lot of money 
you like you need a lot of money save a lot of money like some people joke with this but it's very important money is everything money stops nonsense money helps you to do a lot of things so before you start making movements save a lot of money there was one person that came to my dm and was begging me to help her register for duolingo test help her register you understand for duolingo test i was like you don't have money for duolingo test how do you want to travel like even if i pay for your help you with your duolingo test how about other things how about um visa how about like there's a lot of places you need to spend money on this is just one out of 10 or 20 places you spend money on so if you're not ready for traveling don't start keep your money if you're not ready don't put yourself under unnecessary pressure yes because it's not easy it's not easy so save a lot of money save a lot of money then you can go for it money will save your life <laughs> literally so let's go to the next step don't carry unnecessary things like this point seems to be very like all these points looks unusual but you would you 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 would know when you want to start traveling carry unnecessary things will stress you unnecessary things like if everybody wants you want to carry a lot of things that are actually being sold in that country and you're, you're stressing yourself carrying it i don't know if you get like what's the need of um uh, probably buying tomatoes carrying tomatoes when there's tomato there and this is a need why you need to know somebody there and the person tells you what they have there what's the need of carrying maggi when there's maggi there and it's not necessary and these things are, are, are going to stress your load and probably you start paying for over luggages so you need to ask question what is there so you don't stress yourself in carrying things that are already there you understand you're carrying okay for example again you're probably you're carrying um you're carrying what, what 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 rice why are you carrying rice where there's rice in that place i know some people will do this why are you carrying your documents your 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 school documents that are very very um maybe probably you're going for tourist visa you're carrying school documents in your luggages that one don't cast person already it will cast you so don't carry unnecessary things if you are going for tourist visa you're going on a tourist visa like told like you want to go for vacation don't carry your school documents because it's a red flag you don't know who will search you you might not be searched you but if eventually they search you you will just be turned back like they will send you back all your money is, is going to go for vanishing like you've wasted all your money so unnecessary things don't carry unnecessary things clothes carry the clothes that fits where you're going to if the code is too much you need to carry it few few clothes and a lot of jackets in the plane coke there's always the plane needs to be the flying international flights the code is very high they don't care if um, um you are sick you don't have code or qatar and so you have to cover yourself properly you understand so um you buy clothes where you are going to you don't need to start carrying the whole clothes in your wardrobe can carry your native just to show and all those things and when you go there you can get one or two clothes and you'll be fine so don't carry unnecessary things that's basically what i'm trying to say so let's go to the next point i don't know if it's the last but i'm just flowing with the flow carry a survivor box like survivor but what survivor box it's more like when you carry all your load you know you've locked it you've tied it and uh, there are some things maybe that early morning you might want to change you might want to wear you might want to do your soap your this don't put it inside where your box is like the main box i don't know if i'm making sense because it will not be easy to start unlocking all those things and start removing them again so if you're gonna be traveling have this full box where you cannot touch it again then the small box are those box that has impromptu um things that you can pick like your toothbrush your 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 tooth don't carry perfume on. perfume they don't allow it in the plane you would you would lose it don't take perfume in that bag you will lose your perfume i lost mine so i am saying it beforehand keep your perfume in your big box you cannot remove it so um, those stuff like your clothes that you wear that morning your 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 glass if you're wearing your your glass 
whatever thing that you know that is going to be so needful, that is going to be needful along the journey. So you won't have to start unboxing your, your luggages and start scattering it. Yes. So that is what is called a survivor box. So that box carries your cream, your toothbrush, your toothpaste, take small toothpaste, don't carry big ones because they will sit right away and they will still give you toothpaste in the, in the plane. Probably if you are going to be flying through the night, when you wake up in the morning, depending on your time of flight. So different things like that. So survivor box is that particular box that you need um, to carry those few things you need to use to travel the next morning. Yeah, I hope this thing is making sense. Yeah, I sh it should, it should, it should. It's making sense, right? So let's go to the, I think the last point of the day. Have a goal. Some people are traveling for different reasons. Some people are traveling never to return again. Some people are traveling um, to make money. Some people are traveling to to secure their future. Some people are traveling for education to get um, to get this degree. So everybody have their reasons. So you need to have your goal, what you need. Some people want to go and come back and open up their business. Some people want to travel and build houses. Some people want to travel and come back to Nigeria and leave. It depending on your goal. So the one I probably might not um, suggest is the one traveling and you never come back. Like, no place like home. Nigeria is actually a beautiful country when you have money. Imagine a country that does not have um, rule. Like, it's, it's more like an advantage in some way. I know the disadvantage is more, but when you go outside the country, you're going to know that um, you will not even be, you have to follow rules, and you cannot express yourself well, even with your money. And you might not even be rich in that country. So how would you enjoy yourself when you're not even rich in that country? So it's always cool that when you make enough money, you can come back to your country and rest. And be that rich man, and be that odogu you have always dreamed of being. Because if you're in that country, you're, 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 you're not expressing yourself because you're still suffering, you're still working hard, and it's not showing. But when you come to Nigeria, you'll see, the, you'll see doings that you can be doing. You can spend those nera and it will look like you're spending nothing. So the go uh, point I'm trying to make is have a goal, what you're traveling for. Don't just travel because you want to travel. Know that this is what I want to travel. When I travel, I'll get married. When I travel, I would get married to a Nigerian girl, carry my wife, do this one. Everybody has plan, so have a plan. Another thing I want to say is um, clear that mindset that when you travel, that um, um, probably there is this, this thing you were doing in Nigeria and you came abroad, you want to continue that thing. It's not, it doesn't work that way. Sometimes um, you, might, you might get frustrated. You might get frustrated. You might not even get a job because that's okay. This point takes me back to the first point, knowing the requirements for the, for the, for the country you're going to. So you don't get stranded. You need to know that, oh, this country I'm going to, um, the visa I'm on, I might not even have a job. I might not, they might not allow me to work. And it will be frustrating you, like you'll be frustrated. Yes, they might not allow you to work. So you need to know all this, so, because you might have a particular plan, how to make money, do this. Some even, you might, might even grant you work, but you will have to work only 20 hours, few time, maybe, maybe uh, in a week, you can work 10 hours, 15 hours. And it will affect the, the income. And you might not be able to express um, that, that hardworking nature you want, to, you want to do. Or you probably want to go and um, um, you, want to, you, you want to open a business and you find out that the, the requirement is much and it breaks your heart. You can't do it. So you need, to be, you need to prepare for the unforeseen circumstances. And this makes your goal even more like secured. So you can know what to do. You to be very, very flexible. So have a goal and know the requirements that that country needs, know if you're going to work in that country, and always have a plan B in case something happen, in case this one happen, what will happen. So I think um, 
this is gonna be the end of my video and i believe that this video was actually educative and i was able to um educate you enlighten you on things you need to know before you jackpa yes if you're watching me for south africa I, I i believe i didn't use much of pigeon so that everyone can understand me in africa from ghana from syria alone from zambia from zimbabwe yeah i know um a lot of people are watching me from outside africa uh, outside nigeria so that's why i'm trying to use the english language so everyone can understand me so this is what you need to know before you jackpa don't take any of them for granted and i thank you for watching this video to this point god bless you so i'll see you again in my next video subscribe yes subscribe to my channel please oh yeah press the subscribe button subscribe to my channel this is more information i'll keep bringing i'm not a visa agent too just in case anybody is using my name to chat to scam you i am not a visa agent see you in my next video good night